In part 1, I explained how to monitor the light intensity using the UV DOTS IoT platform widgets. In part 1, I practically demonstrated how to define a variable and how to access that variable and display the value on a gauge and chart. This is the part 2 of the light intensity monitoring system. Part 2 is based on the use of events. When the sensor value exceeds above or drops below a certain predefined value, an email is sent to the owner. In this episode, I will also explain how to send a text message on any cell number throughout the world using the UV DOTS SMS event. In this episode, we will be using the same Node MCU programming and of course the same circuit connections which I have already explained in part 1 of the light intensity monitoring system. So I highly recommend you should first watch the part 1 and then you can resume from here. Without any further delay, let's get started. The components and tools used in this project can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. This is the gauge and chart which I created in part 1. You can clearly see a change in the value as I change the amount of light falling on the LDR. Now I will show you how to send an email on multiple IDs when the LDR value exceeds a predefined value. Let me open my Yahoo and Gmail accounts. To create an event, first click on the data menu and then click on the events. As you can see, I have already created one event. But don't worry, I will create another one. But for now, let's use this one first. Click on the plus sign. Then click on the device and select the variable LDR. In the next box, select the value. Let's select greater than. You can set any predefined value. For now, let's select 400. So this is basically a condition which means if the LGR value is greater than 400 and it stays like this for one minute, then send an email on this email ID, which of course you can edit. You can use multiple email IDs. We are done. This is how easily we can create an event. Currently the value is 196. Let me change the amount of light falling on the LDR.
now you can see the value is greater than 400 now let's wait for one minute and see if we can receive emails As you can see, I just received an email. As you can see, I also received the same email on my Gmail ID. Now let's create an event for sending a message on any cell phone number throughout the world. Let's delete this event and create a new one. Follow the same exact steps. Now you will need to create an action type. You may add several actions within the same event. Click on the plus sign. As you can see we have different types of actions. You can use multiple actions or you can select any one action as per your requirement. This time let's use the SMS. As currently I'm in Pakistan, so I will select Pakistan from the drop down menu. On UB.IoT platform, everything is very user friendly and we don't have to write a code. Everything is very simple and straightforward. Now let me change the amount of light falling on the LDR and let's see if I can receive an alert message on my cell phone. Let's wait for a minute.
this is the message that I just received. This is really amazing now there is no need for the GSM module. We don't need to purchase the SIM card. We can send messages, emails and we can even make a voice call. So this is how easily we can use different events and monitor any sensor from anywhere around the world. If you have any questions, let me know in a comment. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.